Anna. All right, Rosa Flores, thank you for staying on top of the developments for us. Now, these images of protesters converging in outrage over the police shooting. And however impressive these crowds are, we've seen them before. This isn't new. Remember after the death of Michael Brown in Ferguson, much the same scene. But there is something starkly different from Ferguson here. Madison's police chief has already come forward, issuing an apology just two days after Tony Robinson was shot to death by one of his officers. Listen. All I can do is what I think is right, and that is when information is made known, there's no sense in deflecting it or redirecting it. We should own it, be transparent with it, and provide it. Uh, we need to start, as any healing or reconciliation would, with an I'm sorry. And I've done that privately, and I'm attempting to do it publicly. And that's the only way we can start to begin sort of the healing or the rift that may take years, if at all, to mend. But the effort has to be there. So we have to acknowledge it. We have to own it. We have to say we're sorry at the outset for it. And then we have to show affirmative steps in moving forward to bring community back into the, into the fold, as it were.